okay all now here we will see how to add or install juniper os in gns3 let's get started so this is the softwares or files you have to download from internet gns3 juniper juno s olive virtual box for windows or mac linux whatever you have okay so download the latest one gns3 juniper and virtual box then install okay uh, do the default installation do not do any change just run the setup file click next 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 then finish no need to install juniper os or olive just install gns3 and virtualbox so here is the url i will put all the urls in the description box so here like this we can even go gns click on download then login with your registered email id if you are not registered then register with your email id then download download this one the latest one latest version you will see multiple version in the below then download the juniper os june olive from here or you can download from here also see from here also so already i have installed gns3 and oracle vm virtual box open oracle vm then click on file click on import appliance select the file select then click on open next import now it's came here now close this window now open gns3 wait for a few moments cancel this now click on edit then preferences then come here a virtual box then add new click here then click here then finish now click on edit network by default there is one adapter change the adapter number and put tick here allow gns3 to use any configured virtual box adapter then okay then apply okay now click on file then new blank project name june os olive then click on ok now click here we can see june os here june device juniper device drag and drop one more now click here take one ethernet switch now do the connectivity click here this is the cable okay 
okay uh, click on ethernet one because ethernet zero is for management sorry go there click here now here also now remove this now right click and start we can see here starting yeah started right click start okay we can see both the devices started now open the console okay remove now let's scam login root is the username and there is no password then type cli then go to configure mode okay then set sorry system root authentication plain text then give the password minimum will be six character enter confirm password enter so if we do not set the password we can't save the configuration okay. you can do the same for the second one also thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye